Hi everybody, this is Dave from TeachingTheCore.com. Just wanted to give you an overview about learning about the Common Core State Standards. Perhaps you've had a professional development that wasn't really satisfying on the standards, or maybe like me, your district hasn't given you any professional development on the standards, and you're just wanting to learn what they're all about. Um, I'm going to show you the way that I did it, and then also a way that you can save a lot of labor by capitalizing on the work that I've done. So first of all, you just want to go to the Common Core State Standards. They're located at corestandards.org. Um, and I'm an ELA teacher and a history teacher, so these are my standards. Okay, you've got your document here. Table of contents looks very daunting, and uh, 64 pages is not exactly something that's very intriguing. However, uh, there's some key sections here that I'll show you that really make the standards very manageable. Uh, the key design considerations, I've blogged on this. Why did they create the standards? How did they create the Common Core standards? Again, you can find a blog on that at Teaching the Core. How should the different types of reading and writing be broken up by grade level? I've created an infographic on this one at Teaching the Core and I've written on it, um, but this is a very helpful distribution framework. What is not covered by the standards? To me, this is why people should not view the standards as so much of a threat. There's a lot that's not covered by the standards. For example, there are less than 10 specific documents or works that students are required to read. Content and curriculum is wide open with the Common Core State Standards. What are the Common Core State Standards driving towards? Well, it's what they call College and Career Readiness, or CCR. That's an acronym that you've probably heard thrown around the edge you speak world today. I've blogged on this, but what exactly is this sort of ideal graduate from American public schools? That's what this page will help you with, page seven. Okay, now let's get into the actual standards. The Common Core State Standards are broken into anchor standards. There are actually only 32 of these, 10 in reading, 10 in writing, six in speaking and listening, and six in language. That's it. The anchor standards are designed to sort of give an overall picture, K through 12, of where we want kids to end up when they graduate. So this is what I started looking at when I began reading the standards. I didn't get into grade specifics, although you will find grade specific standards in this document. I just focus on the anchor standards. Again, if you go to teachingthecore.com, you can see my uh, layman's attempt at explaining each one of these standards and just sort of processing them. So you've got 10 in your reading. If you scroll down through the grade specifics, you find 10 anchor standards in writing. Again, scrolling through the grade specifics, you've got your six in speaking and listening, and you've got your six in language. And then they just continue to go on and, and divide themselves based on uh, grade level and, and content level area as well. So that's the difficult way to learn about the standards. It's really not that difficult, but there is an easier way. And that is simply going to teachingthecore.com which is the blog that I created to sort of go through these standards and learn about them. There, if you go to the CCSS overview, you'll find kind of my overarching take on the Common Core, and then you'll see links to each one of my um, blog posts that discuss the standards. So, for example, if you wanted to learn about the third anchor standard in reading, you can click right here, and you'd find what I have to say about that. Well, let's say you just wanted an overview of the reading anchor standards. Well, you could go to uh, my link right here, and there you'd have that. So I hope this has been a helpful primer, and I hope that teachingthecore.com will be useful to you as a resource for learning about the Common Core State Standards. Please comment, give feedback, um, jump at me on Twitter. Jump, jump at me. Follow me on Twitter, at Dave Stewart Jr. Uh, like the page on Facebook, and let's just stay connected and have a conversation about the Common Core State Standards. I really am encouraged by the positive educators around the country and the world who um, just want to learn and be better teachers. Thanks a lot, and I hope this has been a useful post.